hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're today is the first time i'm coming across my channel this is gloria sum of skill please encourage me by subscribing to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always watching my video you are highly welcome so guys in today's video i'm going to be teaching how to process dry pack some people call it ogi and it is called kompudi in english this process can last up to six to one year without losing its flavor and taste so guys if you want to learn how to make pap that can last for a year stay tuned and keep watching them with this recipe we'll be needing corn so look at it this is yellow corn you can use any corn of your choice you can use white corn so but i'm making use of yellow corn today so i'm going to be introducing water to wash it thoroughly before i soak it for fermentation Guys, use this opportunity to encourage me by subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will see my video when next I post. Guys, this process is going to rest for about two to three days, but you have to be changing the water every day. So I'll be covering it now. This is three days later. I washed it off camera. This is it. I'm going to be taking it to the market to process it. So I'm going to be using commercial blender for it. Hey okay, guys, if your blender is capable of blending it, you can go ahead and blend. So after blending, this is a puree that you're going to see. So this is the bucket I'm going to use to sieve it. So I'm going to be transferring it into this pan so I can make use of the bucket. I will be needing water in this process so I'll be shifting it by the side so now I am going to tie my chiffon clothes into the bucket so this is it I'm going to tie it by the side look at it you can go to the market and tell them to give you chiffon clothes it looks like net so this is it I'm going to tie it by the side I am tying it by the side so I will be able to adjust it whenever it's going down 
So that's why I'm doing this. I'll be starting the sifting process so I'll be adding the water bit by bit. Guys, this is what you are going to see when you are done sieving it. So this is it. So this is a chaff. So we'll be throwing it away. So we're going to repeat this process until everything is done. Don't save it, so I'll be decanning the water. Okay, guys, I'm done decanning the water, so I'm going to be introducing my muslin bag. But if you have a cotton material, you are good to go, so I'll be pouring everything inside. So after that I'm going to tie it and keep it somewhere for all the water to drain by itself so I'll be putting on something like heavy something on top for all the water to disappear so this is it this is what I'm doing so keep watching I was looking for heavy thing to place on it. Uh, I find it difficult to see it. So uh, later on, I did it off camera. So look at it here. This is a pop here, and I'm going to be untying it. So guys, we are done draining it. So this is the first method. This particular method can last up to three weeks to one month if stored in the freezer so keep watching to store it into the freezer you are going to cover it but we are moving to drying method so keep watching so we'll be needing tray for this procedure but if you have anything that you can spread it is okay so after that we'll keep it under house sun for so long at least for about five to six days so this is it here so this is a color I am getting because it is well dried 
so but when you mix it with water before you make the pop you are going to get yellow color so i'll be blending it to have a smooth texture but this is optional if you don't have a blender you can just add a little bit of water take some quantity of the one you need just add a little bit of water dissolve it you are good to go this, this is not a must i'm just doing this because i have time to do it if i don't have time i don't i don't think i will go this process so i'll just keep it like that so look at the texture here it is very very smooth you can sieve it or you can leave it like this it's still okay look at that so we are done blending everything so but if you want to start a business with it you can start packaging plus write your name on it and start supplying you can even send it to abroad okay so with this process you're not going to be making pap every week or every month you can just make it and keep it for it's going to stay for a very long time okay so guys this will be the end of our video please help me share this video subscribe to my channel you have a lot to learn in this channel with this channel you are good to go to start a business of your own so guys if you are impressed with this video please give me a huge thumbs up and press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye guys